Rosa, thank you so much for joining our interior design series. I'm so excited to chat with you today and uh, talk about some of the projects and um, let us get started then. Excited. Right. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I have to say, I love your surroundings and your blouse looks beautiful and you look fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So um, the first thing is I just I'd like to know a little bit about you and um, it's your interior design business, correct? Our yes, ma'am. Great. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. So I um, it's RSC Interiors and I have been in business for 23 years. Wow. I'm excited to going on 24 this year and it's been phenomenal. It's been a, an adventure to say the least. Mm -hmm. I am uh, originally born and raised in, in Puerto Rico. And so um, there's a little bit of the flair and that <laughs> uh, spice into my designs. But it's 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 been something it's been it is my second profession. And yeah. so um, but it's been something that I wanted to do and we did it. Nice. And are you in Georgia? Is that where um, your firm is located? So our firm is located um, physically in Georgia, but we actually work worldwide, pretty much oh, where our okay. clients will take us, will go. And so right now we have, um, we're working on nine projects here in Georgia, and then we've got five in Florida. Wow. And so looking at one in Texas. So we are wherever our clients want to take us to. Oh, fantastic. And are you um, primarily residential or commercial, a little bit of both? What's your focus? So our primary focus is residential. However, we will jump in and do commercial projects for our residential clients. So if I have a client who has a facility, um, then we will go ahead and, and service them from a commercial perspective. But oh. our primary bread and butter is definitely residential. Very nice. And um, I was doing a little bit of homework on you online and I was looking through your website and there was a statement on there that I just, I, I loved, and I'm just gonna read this. This is um, from your um, website. And it says, we truly believe that your home or special space should be a reflection of you, your style, lifestyle, your taste, and definitely your personality. Your space should be a sanctuary where you retreat for peace of mind, relaxation, family time, joyful moments with friends, and definitely a place where you detach from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. And I just thought that that was so um, fantastic. And, um, you know, I definitely feel that with my home. That's how I want it to feel. And, um, you know, given that, is that, you know, what drives your design, design de uh, decisions? Is it, you know, going off of what your clients want? Um, you said you bring a little bit of, you know, your background into some of your design. What drives your design for your clients? So I absolutely love um, what you just read because, you know, my firm is in an essence, it's an essence of me. And I am a huge believer of everything that was written there, which I wrote myself. Um, all the content on the website was written by myself. And I, it's incredibly important for us, uh, just like our tagline or our motto says, creating space, spaces you'll love to live in. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you know, I have, I come to my home and my home needs to be my sanctuary. And so that is for me, what my service is supposed to be for our clients. That is the essence of what we bring to the table. We need to be able to give them a place that it is their sanctuary, mm -hmm. that it is a place where whatever family dynamic they live by, whatever their priorities are, that we are able to enhance that with whatever we do with their space. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. And um, I can tell by your, are you in your home right now, correct? I am in my yeah, home. I can tell by your surroundings that it's, you know, it definitely it feels like you. Um, and it's it's beautiful back there in your Thank in your you. Home. Thank you. What are some of the top trends that you are seeing right now in the design world? Are there specific things out there that um, a lot of your clients are asking for that um, you like to slip into designs to make them unique for your clients? What is, what's some trends out there that you're seeing? So, you know, industry wise, I am seeing, um, and, and I think we're all seeing it. We're seeing the trend of organic. 
mm. organic design. People are bringing a lot of um, nature elements into, mm. into their homes. But that has been a trend that has been creeping up for the past five years. I think that our industry, and I think the same goes for the fashion industry and sometimes even other industries, are driven by what is happening in our nation, in our world. Mm -hmm. And so we we kind of balance each other out with saying what's happening here and what do we need to offset what's happening here, here. And so I'm seeing definitely that organic people needing to feel more grounded. Mm -hmm. But I'm also seeing the classic design that has now been a, a trend that everybody thought was going to come and then go over the past you know six to seven years still continue to be a huge force of what the industry is still implementing um you know you see some of that behind me and what i'm doing in my own personal home very calm very soothing very relaxing very welcoming you know little did we know prior to 2020 that home was going to become such an important part of our daily lives Mm -hmm. But we have seen this trend. We have seen this trend of people spending less money on, you know, on lavish vacations in Europe or and spending that invest, spending that money and using that investment into the home, into making a home that is more welcoming, more of a daily use rather than, you know, what I like to call a museum. Mm -hmm. um, we're implementing rooms where we are all together rather than one room over here and one room over there and the room that nobody sits with, like <laughs> our grandparents, um, mm -hmm. you know, or at least my grandparents used to have. So I think the trends are staying very in line with what is happening in our world. Mm -hmm. And I think that they'll continue. I also think the trends reinvent themselves. You know, I tell my, both of my children, I say, you know, what was hot in the 70s is going to be hot again in 2000. And what was hot in the '60s is going to be hot again coming up. We just we just reinvent them. We make them a little bit more trendy, for lack of a better word. But they just continue to come back, and and that's just part of the recirculating of what design is all about. And so I kind of I'd like to talk about some of the the pictures that you had sent me from projects that you have worked on, and uh, specifically you had used some wall covering from Murals Your Way, which that is fantastic. And we absolutely love that. So and we love uh, you, trust oh. me. <laughs> Thank you. And so the first one I wanted to chat with you about is I, I think it's your most recent project that you've worked on with us. And I initially saw this picture on Instagram, you had tagged us and it's just adorable. I just love it. It's a cute little bunk room. Actually, it's not a little room. It actually looks pretty large, um, but it's it kind of has a nautical feel to it. it it's the uh, um, it has the blue and white striped, there it is right there, the yes. blue and white striped wall covering. And this caught my attention right away because I, my son's room, um, he has very similar bedding um, that I, I love the stripes, the nautical feel. So I was just hoping you could tell us just a little bit about this project. Um, was this one in Georgia also, or where was this project? So this project is in Georgia, it's in a region of Georgia, an area of Georgia called Lake Oconee. And so it is a lake home and it's a beautiful cove. The, the home itself is, is phenomenal. And this particular room, um, initially when we came into the project, um, this is a house that our clients just purchased and eventually is going to be their forever home. And so they've been working on it, um, you know, trying, uh, in, in, in phases is what we've mm -hmm. been doing. And so this room, when we initially were introduced to the room, we called it, the creepy room. We needed to come to the creepy room. And and so if you saw the before of this, you would be like, okay, wow. But <laughs> this room is interesting because it's got a childlike essence to it, but it's actually a room that was created. Um, our client has sons and her sons come over with their friends mm -hmm. and their adult sons. And they come over with their friends and we just needed more space but we wanted something that was fun that was not boring that was whimsical and so you know sometimes we bring those elements in in a different sense mm -hmm. but here we just we really wanted it to feel like it was the boys coming home with their friends mm -hmm. 
to just hang out. And so um, that's that's what we use this mural for that will be created. Um, Paula was phenomenal in working with us. Um, this was something that we designed. We wanted specific stripes. We kept on finding mm -hmm. too thin, too thick. You know, we wanted something more organic, like you and I were just mm -hmm. talking about. Very, you know, no straight edges, just kind of ragged. But we wanted the stripes, and so um, that's what you guys came up with with our with our guidance and your help. And, and we we love it. The client absolutely adores this room. They almost look like um, watercolor stripes because mm -hmm. it's, it's very soft, very um, you know, it's soft lines, and it's. It truly really, it makes the space. It really pulls things together, and of course, that "Go Jump in a Lake" is <laughs> I love that sign. <laughs> which, is, which is literally right outside that door. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, that's perfect for the boys. Then when they come home, they can just you know go from the bedroom, go jump in the lake in the morning, and you know refresh. <laughs> yes. The second picture, um, I wasn't exactly sure where this project was, but so is this. Um, is this your studio or I just, there wasn't, um, I saw online it said, so where is the interior? Yeah, with some of our clients, we have to be, we, we're a little bit, um, when we take these photos, we're a little bit more um, private as mm -hmm. to where these things are. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes because for, in particular with this location, it had not been announced, um, they had not opened to the public yet. So, mm -hmm. We, we kind of kept the hush-hush. We had the pictures, so that's why that project doesn't have a name. But this is actually here in Georgia as well. This is in a, a in Brasselton. And this is a very um, famous, I'm going to say, um, mm -hmm. location. If you just saw the movie Ford uh, versus Ferrari, mm -hmm. it was filmed here in Georgia, and it was filmed at a uh, racetrack called Michelin Road Atlanta. And so this is a private club for the race car drivers. And so that mural that you see that you guys customized for us, and by the way, that's one of the things that we love about murals, that we can just create whatever we want, especially me, get up at 3 a.m., create something <laughs> in my head, send it to Paul and say, can you make this happen? And, and you guys do. But that is actually the racetrack. That is every turn of the racetrack. The racetrack has 12 turns. And that is every race of the tra racetrack recreated in this in this wallpaper mural. Wow, that that is so that is really really neat and such a cool custom way, um, you know that that just adds the personality to the space, but relates to what you're designing around. That is that is very creative. I think that is such a neat thing to to bring into the space and. Um, yeah, I know that that movie is very popular, Ford for, versus Ferrari. Um, mm -hmm. My dad was actually at one of his, um, uh, one of the, the guys that he works with who actually bought, went down to Georgia, bought like one of the only replicas of one of the cars in that movie. And okay. um, yeah, so it's, it's, I've been learning more and more about <laughs> that movie, but this is, this is so neat. And I love the furnishings around it. Um, it's, has that like, masculine but yet um very pulled together uh look and you guys designed this very beautifully and it's that is a great wall covering though i didn't I, at first i didn't know what that was but it makes total sense now and i can see that in the in the wall covering and adds a really cool textural element in there it was such a popular wallpaper and wall covering for this particular application that a lot of the members Asked if we could reproduce it so that they could do it at their homes. Well, um, give Paul a call, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. You just let me know. We actually, on the first floor, there's no pictures of it um, that you have, and they're not out there. But on the first floor, we did a second mural where we did the entire track as one loop. Oh, wow. So as you walk into this uh, private club, you walk in, and the reception mural is the entire track with the their name above it um again another customization that you guys did for us um and and you guys turned it around really quickly because this was kind of a one of those projects that everybody needed everything yesterday i'm really glad that you used this on this project and it looks fantastic awesome thanks um this next project that we're gonna chat about it looks like it is a kid's room and it has a really fun striped wall covering with a little graphic in the middle. 
And then I'm actually curious to know, um, this back wall, it looks like brick. Is that real brick or is that our mural also? So that That's is- your mural. Both of them are yours. Oh my goodness. So like we even have like that zoomed in shot and I'm like, wow, that is really detailed. This has to be real brick. I was like, kept zooming in and I'm like, I, this is just something I have to figure out because um, yeah, see like, I mean, that just looks so real. It looks mm -hmm. so real. I thought it was actual real brick. So um, I'd love to hear about this project and it looks like a little boy's room. It looks like something my son would absolutely love. Right. Uh, <laughs> So this project, again, you know, another one of those that was presented to us and um, it is a little boy's room, it's Jackson's room. And, you know, parents had just purchased this house and it was all builders, you know, builders beige walls, nothing there. The room actually had, as you can see, an access point into the attic, mm -hmm. which when I first saw it, you know, I'm a mom, I was like, this is really dangerous um, <laughs> for your children because, it's finished now, but when we got to the room, it was not finished. Um, so the kid could actually go walk through the attic and he was only like four years old. So so we, we kind of lay it all out and they wanted something fun and they wanted something that would grow with him. And at the same time, he has a little brother two years younger, so that would grow with the brother. Mm -hmm. And so this is what we came up with. We, you know, they, they obviously like every parent said to us, you know, well, they like Hulk and they like, you know, cars and they like whatever action figure. And so we're, we're not into doing themes. We don't care for doing themes um, in rooms. I mean, we'll do them if our clients want to, but we try and steer them away from that because we know themes are dated, you know, and especially with children, their attention span is, is limited. And so five minutes later, now they're into somebody else or something else. And so... I wanted to do something that would actually grow with him. And as you can see, we even incorporated a desk in that brick wall. Um, you know, he wasn't in school yet, but he was learning his letters and he was learning his numbers. And so we wanted, we wanted something that would transition as he was growing up. So this is what we came up with. We created a, um, a playroom in that area of the attic we were able to sheet rock it run some ac throw some carpet down and so now they had like a little boys club mm -hmm. that they cl close with their barn doors and not go into the attic <laughs> well and what a great use of space like any little boy would absolutely love something like that it's like their little fort like their little hideaway and those little barn doors are just the cutest things i've ever seen that's just it's so cute Thank That's you. Perfect. Yeah. So again, we, we want to color and like you saw in the rest of the pictures, there's blues and there's greens and there's reds and there's, it's, it's a kid's room. It's supposed to be fun and stimulating and exciting for them to walk in there and just have fun. Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely looks like a fun room. Absolutely. And um, so when you designed, so I'm, I'm assuming you designed that striped wallpaper as well. And you put that little, um, like it's crushing through to the to the brick with Jackson's name on there. I mean, that was just such a fun little addition that uh, definitely personalizes it for his own little space. And um, I just think that's fantastic. Yeah, we thought it was it was fun. He had an infatuation with Hulk. <laughs> so I figure, well, you know, maybe Hulk comes through the wall and writes your name on the wall. So that's why we <laughs> did if we emulated the brick over on this side like Hulk was punching through the wall. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh my goodness. Every, every little boy would absolutely dream to have this room that it's just, it's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> I, those barn doors. I want to make some of those. Like when we do our reno, I'm going to, I'm going to put some of those little barn doors in my son's room. He, he would love that. My daughter would they, too. <laughs> they're, ador they're adorable. I love the barn doors and you can't see a different angle, but there's actually a washer machine um, that is their little hamper. Oh, cute! <laughs> so we just we went with you know whimsical and 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 fun, stimulating things for a child, which is what every child wants. Yes, adorable, adorable. Thank you. Beautiful job on all of your projects, and this is just a just a snippet of the projects that you've worked on, and we're just so grateful that you've chosen us, Murals Your Way, to work with you on all your projects um, when you have been using wall covering. So. Um, 
Paula, I'm sure will be excited to hear this interview. Um, yeah, we love, we love, love Paula. She really <laughs> helps tremendously. She's she very responsive. We love it. We love it when we have the ability to work with vendors such as yourself. It really makes our job so much easier, and especially for a firm like ours. You know, we're we're three and a half employees, and that's only half because we have a part time employee. Um, and you know, but right now, right at this very moment, we're running 17 projects. Wow. <laughs> so it it's it's not only our, our skill set on project management that allows that, but it's also when we're able to send an email and say, hey, just yesterday, Paula, I can't get into the website. Two seconds later, I just reset your password. You just fired for reset your password. I, you know, when when I'm working and I need to know the answer today, it's it's important. And then when you back your product and I, if I have an issue, you know, like we've had um, and, and I'm able to say, hey, this was an issue. We made the mistake. One of them was installation. We made the mistake. But then Paula turned around and said, I'm going to give you a discount on that paper because you guys use us all the time. And so it's it's that relationship. And for me, that's really important. Um, as I've said all along, connection with my clients, but also connection with my vendors, because if if they're if they're backing what we're doing and allowing us to promote their product, then then it's a win win for everybody. And so that's 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 crucial. That is, I'm so happy to hear that, that, um, you know, it's gone well. And, you know, Paula, a, she's a great account manager. And, um, yeah, she was the first to say, oh, my God, Rosa wants to, you know, do one of these designer <laughs> interviews with you. And I said, oh, absolutely, like 100%. So um, I'm glad that you've you've stuck with us and um, we can definitely, that we've fulfilled your needs. And, um, yeah, we're glad to to help you out wherever we can. So thank you. Um, I'm a huge believer of paying it forward. And so um, we're getting ready and I can't make a big announcement just yet, but we're getting ready to um, me in particular, step up our game, level up. We've got a feature coming up um, where we're going into a different platform. And I know you guys have been in all sorts of platforms, <laughs> but to me it's important that, you know, if I'm doing great, then I can, pay it forward and bring somebody else for. So when I saw the feature, I was like, you know, we have so many murals that we've used. We've got another one. As a matter of fact, if you go on our website, there's a project at the bottom. This is coming soon. It's another one of your murals. Oh, wonderful. Um, doing that a house in Florida. And so um, we're actually doing the one that is the Florida postcard. Oh, yes. I heard about that. Paula had mentioned that. That yes. one is going to be fantastic. I love, yes. love, love, love that mural. Yes. Love it. So we're doing that in a Florida house. And so, so, you know, so again, once we are able to, um, I, I just, like I said, I like giving props to the, to the vendors that support us and especially us, you know, small firms, mm -hmm. um, all girls <laughs> working hard every day. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're a small business over here too. I, I'm sure you're aware we're in Minnesota and, um, you know, we we're just a small little space here, but we're kind of like you. We're we're all over wherever people need us. We'll be there and um, work on projects, you know, overseas and all over the United States. And um, so it's it's fun to collaborate and work with people who are on that same level too of like small business and and you know, getting along. And we're all getting along, right? <laughs> this is wonderful. It's, we're at least here. We're all getting along. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. So I to wrap things up, I would just like if you could um, mention your website and your social media um, so people can check you out and check yeah. out your projects. Um, you can let people know where to find you. Thank you. So our website is rsginteriors.com. And please go look at it. This is brand new. We just revealed the new website in January and it's gorgeous. My, my people did a fantastic job. So go check it out. Lots of testimonials, all of our projects, lots of great information. Mm -hmm. Our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and house at RSZ interiors and follow us. There's a lot of big announcements going on on our firm. 
And so us little people are, like I said, leveling up. So um, definitely would love to to get a follow from anyone out there who wants to continue to follow up on our client on our on our projects. And um, and at the same time, I'm gonna plug myself. Yes, while I'm here. Absolutely. I am writing a book. And so um, should be out 2022. And so at the book by RSC. Well, I will definitely be following up on that and checking that out because exactly. that, it sounds like a wonderful message. And um, uh, it's been so wonderful chatting with you. Well, thank you so much for joining today. This has been an absolute pleasure and um, your work is beautiful. And I will continue to check up on you and all of your fun projects. And um, again, thank you so much for joining our, uh, actually, this is our second designer series uh, interview. So um, thank you so much for joining today. I really, really appreciate it.